Hey everyone, it's Sarah and Jason from McCann's Adventures. We've been under the stay at home order for just over a month now and it's a great time to get all those things on your honey-do list done. One of the things on our to-do list that's been there for just about a year is to do a van tour of the camper van conversion that we did. So we wanted to take the time to put a video together and show you what we did. This is Chip. Chip is a 1986 Ford Econoline van. He is a 5.0 liter V8 with just under 40,000 miles. We found this van in a barn down the road from Jason's parents' house. Uh, pulled it out, it was stuck, none of the wheels move, it was locked up, didn't really run, so we've had a big transition. It was originally a full white van. The gentleman before us who had it uh, had done his own conversion in it and it was really cool. Unfortunately, it sat in the barn for so long that there was a pretty bad rat infestation. And so we've had to completely get it back to bare metal and start over. So this is what we did instead. Um, plans changed throughout the entire conversion process, but we're pretty proud of what we have finished out here. Of course, there's always still projects. It's never a completely done project here, but we'd like to show you what we've done. Going into the cab, we have our original door panels, original dash. Um, we took the shag carpet off of the dog box. We cleared the three layers of flooring and we put in fresh rhino liner. It's pretty durable. J Jason rebuilt our uh, council here. This can fit a full-size Yeti cup and it's pretty great. We did refinish the seats. Um, these came in with them but they were very worn out uh, the rats had chewed holes in them so we did refinish them they are extremely comfortable and a huge plus is that they turn all the way around so i'm gonna go back here and i'm gonna let jason show that to us so it's just got a swivel lever here in the front and you just gotta make sure that the seat is forward just a touch so that it doesn't hit the console just pick it up rotate it around and it'll lock itself back in place. This one will fold all the way around. The driver's seat only will swivel halfway because the steering wheel is in the way. But it still gives plenty of room for two people to sit and hang out whenever it's bad weather outside when, at the camping ground. Big plus is we have a foldable camping table that we can set up right here. So we can still play cards, fix meals, do whatever inside of this space if we're rained out. And as Tinkerbell is modeling for us, Tinker. We have a spot for our dogs to ride with us. And that's where the french fry tends to sleep during the day. Coming in to our cab area, uh, one of the first things is a storage unit right here. We have access to our under the bed storage. We usually keep sandals or something of that sort in here during the summer. And then during the winter, we have our little propane buddy heater. This thing is very handy. Our van is very well insulated. Uh, so fortunately we really haven't had to use it that much um, the few times we did try it we ended up having to open all the windows because it got a little too hot but that's a very convenient storage space for us I guess while we're thinking about insulation we've got three layers of insulation on the walls and then the floor has a uh, reflectix that is underneath the three-quarter inch plywood that was laid down for decking. So when we come into the van, pardon the darkness, it is a full queen size foam mattress bed. It is 10 inches thick, very, very comfortable and lots of room for both us and our dogs. Along the side of the bed, we have areas for storage baskets. For example, we keep headlamps, rain gear. We'll have one with bug spray, sunscreen, all the things that we want quick access that we could reach from the door. On the back, we have a couple hooks. Um, right now the doors are open, but we do have some very heavy, heavy thermal blackout curtains that have magnets that go over those windows. Over here on the side, we have our carbon monoxide detector. Right now it is off, but that is for when we use our propane heater. 
Right next to it is this amazing little piece of art. This was done by the original owner's wife and we just kept it because it's our own little blessing. Then we have our coat rack from Hobby Lobby. This thing is pretty convenient. We hook our bags, we hook our towels, our coats, the dog's leashes, whatever we don't want laying on the floor. Under that is our cooler. We're very proud of our cooler. Thank you, Joe and Nelly. It fits perfectly behind the driver's seat. Um, sometimes I sit on it. It's under the bed. It does fit under the bed if we need this floor, floor space. Usually when we get to a campsite, we just take it out. Looking above the cab, we have a very large storage area. I've covered it with maps. Inside, we have an inverter box. This inverter has two regular plugs, two USB plugs, and it runs off a secondary battery under the hood. We have lots of storage. We keep groceries, we keep our other curtains, everything. I can stick my arm all the way up to my shoulder and still not touch the front. So it is a very large storage space. Here's the other side. We have towels, our laundry bag. Changes what's in here. Underneath that, we have two curtains that close and close off the cab area. It helps with insulation. They're very, very thick, very heavy duty um, blackout curtains that my mom sewed up for us. And these are fantastic. We love them. Right from there, we have three of these puck light we don't have batteries in them right now because we're not using the van. But they're puck light LED lights and they're very bright. We have three of them, one here by the cab, one over the bed, and one down at the end where we sleep. Right next to our overhead storage is our Max Air Fan. Our Max Air Fan is very powerful. We love it. It also runs off that secondary battery. Um, it has the ability to push air in or pull air out. So what we tend to do is we open the windows right behind our heads and we suck it air across us on up and it keeps it nice and cool. We don't really camp when it's over 100 degrees so this works perfectly for us. Moving back to under the bed, we have lots of storage. I'm not sure if you can see, probably not. This under the bed storage is all the way through to the back doors and it's the full size of the queen bed and actually to the wall. Um, so we keep a lot of stuff, a lot of camping gear under there. Moving to the back of the van. Very easy to access the rest of our storage. So we keep lots of totes, um, some extra sleeping bags. We'll carry firewood and charcoal back here. So great access. Also have another little access point to our side storage here. So we'll keep extra hammocks, stuff like that. And that's the back of the van. We're very proud of the exterior as well. There's not a whole lot going on out here, but we did have to fill over 11 holes and that was a lot of work thankfully we had a great body shop do the exterior paint for us and they did a great job tell us what you think about the colors in the comments and thank you for watching the van tour of chip the van thanks again guys